Hi, this is Sweet Angel. In this video, I'm opening up about why my other YouTube channel, Sweet Angel Show, formerly Beauty by Sweet Angel, was deleted by YouTube. I'm finally able to talk about it without getting emotional. As I do my makeup and test out these new brushes from BS Mall, linked in the description box if you're interested, I want to share my experience first and foremost if you're planning to start a YouTube channel or already have one. It's crucial to familiarize yourself with YouTube's rules and regulations. Don't take anything for granted. I had posted nearly 3,000 videos and over time, some of the information in the description boxes became outdated. Here's a key takeaway. Regularly review and audit your content. Make sure it complies with YouTube's evolving policies and remove or update anything that could be problematic. This oversight caused me major trouble with my channel on December 13, 2023, around 3 a.m. I woke up to check something on my channel and it was gone. I refreshed the screen, nothing. Panic set in. I thought, let me check my Gmail. When I did, I felt completely devastated. Here's the message I received. We have reviewed your content and found severe or repeated violations of our harmful and dangerous policy. Because of this, we have removed your channel from YouTube. We know this is probably very upsetting news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. If we think a channel severely violates our policies, we take it down to protect other users on the platform. But if you believe we've made the wrong call, you can appeal this decision. You'll find more information about the policy in question and how to submit an appeal below. The policy in question states, content intending to sell certain illegal or regulated goods and services, such as drugs or pharmaceuticals without a prescription, is not allowed on YouTube. This includes directly selling or providing links to sites that sell regulated goods and services. I was so upset I couldn't even cry. So if you work with or share links in your description, make sure to check them periodically. Over time, I had partnered with many companies, and some of them eventually went out of business or began selling products that weren't regulated in the USA. All I can say is be careful. I learned a valuable lesson and wanted to share my story to help others avoid making the same mistake. In conclusion, losing my YouTube channel was a hard lesson, but it taught me the importance of staying vigilant and up-to-date with platform policies. I hope sharing my experience helps you avoid the same mistake. Remember to regularly audit your content, double-check your links, and stay informed about YouTube's evolving rules. Thank you for watching and supporting me through this journey. Stay tuned for more informative videos. I've got plenty more to share with you. I need to step back Constantly online causing me setbacks Ooh. Every day see so many people doing the things you do And they're doing it better too whoa, whoa. It's like why should I even try When there's always some other guy Who's way ahead of you But makes it look easy Why would they need me? Oh I hear it now I'm just being me Self that comes easy and I've tried almost everything But it just has 
Find me. Why was it 